Hey guys, I gotta tell you I'm super excited. I'm about to drive our long-term Defender for the first time. I've got Tommy over there and we just did a video on TFL Car explaining to people why this is the cheapest Defender in the land. 55,000. Yeah, so it starts at 49.9. Yep. Uh, but of course that car doesn't exist. No. So uh, we wanted like a $50,000 one or $60,000 one, but that car doesn't exist. So we custom ordered this one back in June so we could get everything we wanted and most importantly, nothing we didn't. Yeah, and so the biggest difference, of course, between most Defenders is that this guy has the four-cylinder turbo versus the six-cylinder, you know, mild hybrid. And the guys over at this Land Rover dealership said they've never seen a four-cylinder car come through yet. So they've had a ton of the six-cylinders, but none of the fours. What are you doing over there? I'm, you know, getting my seat. Here's a park manager. He just got a... Uh, New JLU. That is one badass JLU. That's awesome. Thank you very much. That's... I can't wait to see you guys do something that day. I love your uh, little, uh, you know, badges for the different passes you've done. Oh yeah. The badge of honors. Badge of honors. <laughs> Thank you guys. Take care. If you Thanks. guys see anything, remember, let me know. Yeah, so um, we've been waiting for a few months now for this rig. And it seems like an eternity. Yeah, it's a long time. It, it really does feel like a long time. Uh, should we go over the, the sticker? Where'd you put the sticker? Where'd I put the sticker? Here it is. Oh, okay. Here's your sticker. So for 2020, $49,900 starting price, we got the Advanced Off-Road Capability Pack for $735. As one should, Tommy. The Electronic Active Locking Rear Differential for $1,100. As one must. We got the jump seat for some reason. Because it's cool. <laughs> I suppose so, Dad. And then we also got the um, tow hitch receiver. Because we're going to tow with it, of course. We had to get this rearview mirror, which turns into a camera. Because oh, I love that. Because when you put up the seat, you can't see what's behind you through the rearview mirror. It makes me dizzy and nauseous, but I love it. And we also got XM radio because you like your 53 Series XM chill. And the interior protection package with the floor mats. And the final price, $55,935. You can see we got Fuji White, which was the affordable color. It was the free color, actually. Yes. And this is a two liter. Yeah, let's floor it. Let's see how it does. Hey, that is plenty powerful, dude. I don't think I'd want a vehicle any more powerful that's enough. Dedicated off-roader. We got the two liter for a couple of reasons. Yeah. First of all, it's much cheaper yeah. than a straight six. Second of all, it's much lighter than the straight six. Well, what's the real reason? It has to do with the wheels. Yeah, we wanted the uh, steel wheels, the white steel wheels, and to get the white steel wheels, you have to get the four cylinder. Something about the brakes, I think. Um, I think they're too big for the... Uh, in the six. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why we got it. And it's uh, it's a good little engine. It's Ingenium, it's, what's, it's what it's called. It's in a lot of uh, JLR products. Apparently it's pretty reliable. Uh, that's what we've read. Yep. 296 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque, eight-speed automatic. They all have air suspension in the States, all the four doors. Yep. They all have the low range. And by the way, why didn't we get the two-door? Uh, for the same reason we didn't get the Bronco and that's it's not available yet. Yeah, that's right. Not until 21. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? If you're going to get, uh, just my personal opinion, a Defender, you know, this is the ultimate, in my mind, overlanding rig. And you want the extra space, right? You, right. You want the space for our new uh, TFL dog, Blazy, to be able to go in the back and not feel like he's crowded by a bunch of tents and, uh, well, everything else we're going to be pairing in this all our recovery here. And so, you can turn them into kind of sort of rock crawlers, but at the end of the day, they're independent suspension. You know, they're not going to be like a Wrangler, so you might as well buy one to take on big adventures. And to do that, you want the uh, the Ford or the Defender 110, it's called. Now, this interior is really cool. So it has this floating screen, and it's got the center truss that passes all the way across the center of the dashboard. Really cool design. You know what I love? No digital dash. Look at that. We have analog gauges. Um, getting to the point where I love analog gauges more than I love digital gauges. That was an option, actually, the digital dash that we didn't get, unsurprisingly. So for $56,000, though, we're still missing a lot of things. You can see there's a button here for the heated steering wheel. No and heated steering wheel. No. Wah, wah, wah. No heated steering wheel. No power adjustable steering wheel. No power seats for the most part, right? They're, yeah. They're manual. I actually like that better. Yep. We have no heated seats, though. We still have dual zone automatic climate control, but no heated seats. And we do have a full display. Yeah, I think the infotainment screen comes standard with navigation because we didn't option it. We also didn't get the uh, glass roof or the fabric roof. We just have a fixed panel here. Yeah, I like that because it doesn't, uh, you know, eventually come down and block your view because it's sagging on your head. But it seems to do everything that, you know, we need it to do. 
It does more than everything that we needed to do. All we're missing is a big letter U and a big letter N on the side. Yeah, the UN sticker. <laughs> it does. It looks very purposeful. It looks like one of those UN uh, Land Cruisers you see in. Uh, and I meant, I know I said the wrong word, Land Cruiser, but let's face it, those UN vehicles are Land Cruisers. They're not, uh, they're land, not rovers. land Rovers yeah, anymore. It's no. true. So true, Tommy. But look, we've got everything you need and nothing you don't. And, uh, you know, with our economy kind of. Uh, to spend $54,000 on a car is a lot of money. Let's not kid ourselves. Uh, and now we're actually into the price of, you know, a well-optioned Jeep Wrangler as opposed to into the price of, you know, a cheap used uh, G-Wagon. And that to me makes me feel good. Yeah, but it's still 56 grand. It's expensive, yeah. So they yeah. had four others at the dealership. One was 74, two were 75, and one was $86,000. Yeah. If you look on Auto Trader, you're not going to find one for under 60 ever. They're typically the cheapest you might find is 62, 63, because the dealers don't want to spec the affordable ones. There's less money in them. You yeah, know what I mean? That's true. Yeah, there's just less money in them. And, and if you can get someone to spend $60,000 on a car, maybe you can get them to spend $70,000 on a car. So what are my first driving impressions? Uh, it's a big truck, Tommy. It feels big, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of vehicle here, and I was worried about the four-cylinder having enough power, uh, but I'm not worried about it now that I've driven it. It's good. It's, you know what it is? It's fine. This is a discovery. It's just a... It's Underneath, a, yeah. It's a, well, no. I mean, I think it should be called... It's just a much better discovery. <laughs> it could be, yeah. It's less of a Defender and more... I mean, it is. It's, it's just a really good-looking, comfortable SUV. It's not a solid axle... Wrangler killer, like a lot of people thought it would be, but it still is pretty cool. Yeah, and you know, I, I, I love air suspension, especially when it's new. <laughs> and I love uh, the fact that, you know, we don't have all the things that can break on it. More like down. that, yeah, yeah, exactly. Hang like you gotta manually, <laughs> manually pump it. <laughs> but it's cool, like don't I don't... Look, we even have cup holders in our spare seat. Yeah, so if you want, you have three different seat options. There's a five-seater, a six-seater like this one, and then there's a seven-seater as well. So we optioned for the six because you thought it'd be cool to have a bench in the front. You don't think it's cool? I think it's cool. It's very usual. What other what other SUV has? Well, them? you know, when we're in Colorado looking for wildebeest and buffalo and giraffe, we can have a third person in the front here gazing out this expanse of the window to make sure that they can spot the cheetah before it comes and <laughs> takes out, uh, you know, the new vehicle. And it's still not a cabbage cart. Like, you still have a really large infotainment screen here, uh, you know, phone connectivity in here. Uh, we don't have the Meridian premium sound system, just a standard sound system, but I think that'll be okay. Yeah, and look, we don't have leather seats. We have these cloth seats, and this car's going to get dirty, Tommy. I mean, it's pristine now, but give us two weeks. We're going to take this to Moab. We're going to put it through its paces, and it's going to be dirty on the inside, right? And I want something I can, like a Jeep, not worry about and just hose off, right? And that's what we got. Right. I just wish it was 45 grand. Yeah, I wish it was 35 grand. It's a little but, expensive, know, but yeah, it, if, is, it is what it is. If Sam butts were, you know. So in theory, the Defender 90, the short wheelbase one, it's coming next year, it starts at 46. We'll never see a $46,000 no. one. Uh, I actually prefer the proportions of the long wheelbase one. I think the short wheelbase one looks kind of cartoony. But um, hey, yeah, I mean, I'm excited about this. This is a really cool ride. Well, there you have it, guys. There's our very first impression. I do not like the brake still. We drove the uh, six-cylinder like two, what is it? It's almost two months ago now, and the brakes were a little grabby. These are still a little grabby. They're not as bad uh, as the six-cylinder because I think they're smaller, but I would like them just to be a little bit more progressive. Uh, the steering is, uh, you know, it's what you'd expect. It's, it, you're not gonna go carving canyons in this thing, uh, so it's fine. Uh, and the seats are actually super comfy, dude. Yeah, they're really good for class yeah. seats. Not bad at all. Yeah, I just haven't figured out how to move them yet. How, how do you get it to recline? How does you push down on the little button? You push down on the little button. There's like a little no, no, the little rocker switch. Push down on the rocker switch. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I'm much happier. I like that straight up position, and I move it back a little bit. Oh yeah. And I'm ready to cross. I am ready to cross the continent, Tommy. We need to take this on a road trip. For sure. So stay tuned for that. But as always, this is Tommy. And uh, Roman saying, if you ever spot some giraffe in Colorado, let us know because we'll definitely put that video up on our channel. Yep. And check out tflcar.com for the latest and greatest in new car reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.